This piece is called Juan Valdez or Why is a white guy like you named Carlos? <laughs> After the show, she asked me, Carlos Andreas Gomez is your stage name, right? I mean, I've never met a Hispanic who looks like you, so uh, what's your real name? Question. What exactly does a Hispanic look like? Do I need to look like Juan Valdez and sell Folgers in the TV commercial? Sift my fingers through Colombian coffee beans I picked myself, sitting on the back of my reliable mule conchita next to a broke down chiva in an oversized sombrero for me to look Latino or like a Hispanic, as you say. What is a Hispanic exactly? I could guess what you mean and assume that it's a low-priced gardening tool like the one buried in the shed behind your Victorian summer home or that invisible harvesting instrument that picks all of your grapes for you and has to survive on slave wage plantations without unions, bathroom breaks, or vacation. Or maybe when you say a Hispanic, you mean your stand-in parent. That person who raises your kids for you when you're tired of being a mom. That mouthless set of infinite hands and knees that scrubs the crap from your toilets and throws away the leftover garbage when you forget to get rid of it. And I don't have a backyard or a lover on the side or kids for that matter. So maybe I just haven't had the need yet, but I haven't come across a Hispanic thus far in my life. But I have met Latinos and Latinas. Proud of the vibrant patchwork quilt we've had to weave over centuries across an endless cemetery that cradles our past. A swollen dust underneath our souls, wherever we stand, that we nickname home, twisting roots at war, looking for nothing else but to be held. You know, held like a family grasping onto each other because they've left behind everything and only have each other left. Arriving on Mars without a guidebook or a map, I have met Latinos who people think are Aboriginal in Patagonia, East Asian in Chile, West African in La Republica Dominicana, Scandinavian, Argentina, Native American in Colombia. I met Latinos who look like Juan Valdez and can't speak a word of Spanish. Others who look like Hillary Duff with a mother who looks like Hillary Clinton that are from Paraguay and teach Spanish grammar in Puerto Rico. Latinos who speak Quechua and nothing else, dance cumbia like the horizon is on fire because of them. And now they're trying to burn Tomorrow to the ground I have met Latinos who cook like their broken English moms and mispronounce their own last names. Colombians who don't know who Gabriel Garcia Marquez was. Dark-skinned Dominicans who hate Haitians because they remind them that they're African. Blue-eyed Cubans who spit poetry about revolución and mean it. Living in Miami with two parents who lost their mansions in the 1950s to it. I don't tattoo my body because my veins are already too full with ink. Passion-rich pigments that can't help but pulse and flow. You want to know what I am. I am a Latino living in the United States. My name is three words that can't be abbreviated. Yeah, I want you to remember all three. Yeah, I want you to say them like me. And yeah, remember both of those accent marks, baby. My name is Carlos Andres. Gomez. Me too.